police officer being arrested in connection with the killing of six people, apparently in order to cash in on insurance payouts. The officer is stationed at the uh, Sinwabarana police station and allegedly claimed more than 10 million rand so far. Uh, our SABC News reporter, Pimani Baloi, was there when this officer was being arrested. She joins us now live from the police station uh, to continue with our reaction to this developing story. And, of course, Pimani, a lot of people going through a moment of deja vu, frankly. Yes, Ayanda, it is indeed a moment of deja vu for many South Africans because we do know what happened with that officer, Rosemary Lovu. But Ayanda, earlier when we spoke to you, to our SABC News viewers, details were a bit sketchy, but police have now released a statement which now gives further details into their investigations. And what they're stating is it looks like this police officer was taking the identification documents of community community members and registering life cover policies, you know, accident cover policies, including funeral policies, and she would make herself the main beneficiary. And when these people would die, she would claim around a, a, a lot of money. And they're stating at, at this point she's claimed around 10 million rand. And we also understand that the profile of her victims, some of whom are deceased, is that some of them had came from destitute backgrounds. They were pre Previously disadvantaged, some of them had physical and others mental disabilities. So we, according to the police, this was happening from as far back as 2019. So we expect to get more details in terms of who these community members are, how they went to the police station, how she got to get access to their identification documents and was able to register these policies on their names and make herself that beneficiary. But as you rightfully stated, Ayanda, we've been getting reactions since her arrest at around 7 a.m. this morning, and we've spoken to various community members, but now we are joined by the chairperson of the Community Policing Office, uh, a, a Forum in this community, Mr. Alpha Libebe. Mr. Libebe, they've arrested a police officer who is part of this police station that you work with. Why, how do you react as the CPF? Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, it was so disappointing, disgusting, and antagonistic at the same time. Yeah, uh, the issue we were not aware of, but since well, we have seen something uh, happening in our station, we're still going to be vigilant about that. More and above, we appreciate uh, the SIU for the good job done. And it looks like she was claiming from community members. How do you feel about that? It must be disheartening. Yes, of course. Uh, you know, being principled is something else. Because people need to be principled, more especially when working with the communities. Because within the communities, we've got different kinds of people, disabled, uh, disadvantaged historically, and so on. So, but tell us your relationship with police officers. Is this something that looks common? Because you are very close to officers in this police station. Oh, thank you for this special question. Yes, uh, up to so far, we have a very positive uh, relationship with the police officers in Snowbarana. Uh, the collaboration is good. Uh, we were not aware. We are all shocked of this, what happened today. And then uh, it keeps us to another standard so that we, we, we need to work on it. Are you worried there could be other officers involved? Uh, not surely a uh, hundred percent, but uh, once there's a Russian potato inside the bag, it, we might find another one. We are not sure. Let's talk about police in this community. We've seen a lot of people, especially people who work around this police station, saying police are slow to react when they report matters. As the CPS, how's the situation in terms of reacting to crime and crime that are uh, difficult for police to get a hold of in the area? Yes, I'll agree with them for this one only, that yes, they might be slow in responding. We have got a lot of shortage of uh, personnel in the station. We've been uh, complaining about shortage of personnel. So I think, should we get personnel, because uh, we as uh, the CPF members, we complain to the district, to the provincial, I think maybe they take it to the national that we have got a problem of shortage of personnel. Like as we speak now, we don't have visible commander. Thank you. What is your hope with regard to this arrest? What are you hoping for as the community policing forum? My wish or our wish on behalf of the community is 
let the law take its course because we do not allow such kind of behavior within the communities. Thank you so much. That's Mr. Alpha Libipi uh, Ayanda reacting to this news of the arrest of this 43-year-old police uh, sergeant who was stationed at this police station. We understand that the crime that she's been charged for prob uh, probably started happening in 2019. What police have told us so far, she faces six counts of murder, about 17 of uh, insurance fraud. We'll hear more about this when she makes her first court appearance. We'll, police have also stated that they they will be investigating to see if there's others within this police station or any other who might also have been working with her to make sure that they root out this po uh, corruption within their ranks. Ayanda? Yeah, Pimani, you'll forgive me if you already clarified this, but do we know how police actually found her or at least found that she was up to this kind of activity? According to the police statement, Ayanda, this investigation has been ongoing for over six months. It does not state how the first case came up, but when police picked up on the significance and the extent of the fraud that she was uh, uh, commit allegedly committing, they then roped in Captain Keshi Mabunda to ensure that he investigates. And they've told us that he's been on the case for about six months. So tomorrow we'll find out which was the first case that, you know, Reflect that red, uh, red light for them so that they start investigating so that they find the six other deceased that are, are involved in this case, Ayanda. Wow. So uh, Keshima Bunda, if memory serves, is the same man who also helped nab Rosemary Nlovu. Is that right? Yes, that's the very police officer who investigated the, uh, the Rosemary Lovey case. And police are saying when they started seeing this pattern, they knew that they have the best within their ranks. Because you can imagine, police cannot investigate people that they work with. So they needed to get somebody who's, number one, experienced in investigating fellow police officers, but also who is a bit further from the case so that he can get all the information. So yes, Captain Keshimabunda, we know he's won several hours for that investigation where we know that there was a positive conviction for me uh, from a former police officer Rosemary Ndovu so he is the lead investigator when that arrest was being effected he was the lead person is the one who read his colleague her rights to remain silent and also told her what she's being charged with so we expect him to to be the investigating officer who will, uh, 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 you know uh, give evidence in court when she applies for bail and during the trial and that's the main man that will give us what exactly happened and we know he's highly experienced in this Ayanda. Wow, what a story. Uh, Pimani Baloi, thanks for telling it so well. Pimani Baloi, of course, is our reporter. Live to us there from uh, Sinwabarana Police Station in Limpopo. Yet another police officer um, arrested and charged with the killing of six people who she apparently helped orchestrate the murders of in order to cash in on their insurance payouts.